Now this is the terrain I get to go on. Try and do uh, get to where Susan's at so I can work on her rig. I can't get the camper down there right now, so I am actually parked about three miles from where she's at. But it's time to go over there this morning. Let's go through some mud. With it raining every day, it's hard for this stuff to dry out. So, needless to say, I wish I had my old Chevy pickup that had the 4x4 in it. Why well, that thing would go through anything, but this van is a beast. It hasn't gotten stuck yet, but it's been close. Coming up ahead is going to be the real hairy one. So we're going to see if we can get through it. Anyway, hang on. Went sideways yesterday. Holy snikes, this is fun. Oh, that wasn't too bad today. So I guess I can say woohoo. And this one up here. I go slow. I'm afraid I'll get stuck, but uh, it's got to go around it, I guess. And over here on this side is actually better than over there. Don't look like it, but it is. The other day I went down that road straight ahead. That was the wrong way to go. I was on a bicycle. And I actually wiped out. The first day I got here, I wanted to go check out and find out where it was at. So I hopped on the bike since it was, you know, the, the van was still hooked up. So, all right. I'm going to shut you guys off for a few minutes because this isn't very exciting. I'm going to need some speed for this one. Oh, I'm off in the mud now. Mud bogging. Oh, good man. Anyway, this is where I'm going, right over to your left. So I have made it. I think it's coffee time when I get here. It's only about seven. Okay guys, we are at the rig. And we are going to check some things out. First thing I'm going to check is the oil level. I've got a jump pack sitting on the battery because the battery's dead. And she told me that the oil level was over full. Oh, see, that's not pretty. Oh, shit. Right there, that tells me that uh, uh, cracked block, head gasket, something, because there's no oil down here. That it's is water. fluid. That is water. That is water. So, 
Okay. Next step, I guess. Well, since we checked the oil, there's no there's water in it. I'm gonna crack this nut loose. And I'm gonna see just how much is in there. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, it'd be nice if I had the right tools with me. Nah, it always seems to be when I climb underneath something, I always have the wrong ones. What do you need? Oh, I can get it with this. Okay. It seems like it's going to take me a month of Sunday here. Oh, yeah, that's just water coming out, not even oil. I'm going to turn this camera around and let you guys see it. Uh, Y'all can see, and all you mechanics know, yeah. that's just, just water. That tells me it's a blown head gasket, cracked head. It's allowing the water to get in, so I'm going to drain some of this out. Water, huh? Oh, that's all. Yeah, there's a lot of water in there. Oh, well, you guys see that right here? Now we're getting oil. Are you? Yeah, now I'm getting oil. Okay, stop it. Because my bucket is runneth over pretty quick. Put the cap back on and get another bucket. I got the cap. Yeah, I got this cap on. Oh, okay. okay. Just filled that up, didn't it, guys? All right, people. You see how full that is? Yeah. So, hey, we got to get rid of it. But this is what it looks like when you got oil and water and I freeze mixed beautiful isn't it so psychedelic I don't know if you can see that or not that's crazy all right talk to you in a minute okay everybody well what do you think of them apples and bananas that motor's messed up, isn't it? Um, like I said, it's either a cracked head or a busted head gasket. It's causing the water to leak. And that's not pretty. Along with the uh, spark plug popping out of the hole. Um, and that's the V10 motor. So that spark plug, the hole would have to be rebored. Spark plug put back in it. But now that water's been in there for four months. And chances are good the whole motor is rusted. Uh, new rings, we have to have it cleaned out, bore out. Uh, I'm afraid it might be beyond my scope of uh, backwoods mechanics, mechanicin, especially considering where it's at. But we'll do a little bit more assessing and I'll let you guys know what I figure out. Thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for sticking with me. This is quite the ordeal. Uh, 
uh, maybe oh who am I kidding next video I'll get Susan to show her face she's kind of shy so all right everybody thank you again I'm trying to drive back and it's, it's well you know it's kind of hairy out here make the world a better place everybody let's get along say hi to that neighbor that you haven't talked to ever you never know love you guys this is Randy I'm out